and next if I do want to utilize this space I feel like this is a pretty good spot for one of a couple of things I mean I'm thinking maybe now I will stash my wallet there a little more concealed and just slides right into place nice and easy accessible but yet hidden at the same time so if I want to grab my wallet real quick I know it's right there and I like to get to work and take a lot of stuff out of my pocket so I'm not carrying it around all day weighing me down and so that'll be a pretty nice spot for that Next on the front of the bag, you have these couple of pockets here. They're almost a slightly odd shape. I'm not exactly sure what the intent of these are. Um, I feel like they might be almost the same size as some of those grenade pouches that you see on other, um, you know, Maxpedition tactical gear. And so for this, I thought what I could do is put some of my smaller items, maybe things like chapsticks that I just want to stash in there. I tend to have two of them stash those in there maybe a pack of gum that seems like it'll fit in there pretty nice yeah no problem fits in there perfect small little lighter just easy stuff that doesn't take up too much space and I kinda wanna get too quickly so that'll work nice and this side I'll come to that when I find the stuff that needs to go in there now you may have noticed that I finally got my patches transferred over here. They fit nice, nice long uh, strip of uh, hook and loop on the front of the bag. So I got my little patches there. And on the inside of this pouch, this is pretty cool. All right, so basically a big open pouch with some elastic um, enclosures here. So, you know, again, keeping in mind that the front of this bag for me is what I want to get to some of these things just as quickly as possible and the things that I use most regularly. And so the first thing that hits my mind is my Leatherman. I'm always grabbing for this. I grab for this almost every single day without a doubt at one point or another. So um, I'm going to put this in there and continue to figure out what would fit best. So I have my Leatherman and the bits that I use with it. Just a small Swiss Army knife and a little needle. Actually, this is a uh, paracord needle that I use for making paracord wraps and stuff like that. And I use it quite a bit, so a nice little spot for it. Kind of stash it inside there. And then I just have a small pair of scissors that I'll toss right in. Tiny little file. Throw it right in there. And then this... Leatherman Micra. Um, I like this because it has a, a, good, uh, a good pair of scissors. I mean, I know I have two pairs of scissors in there, but, um, you know, it's just, uh, it also has a pair of tweezers, which is nice. Just a good little easy multi-tool I can grab in a pinch if I need it real quick. So just toss it right in there, and that's a pretty good start. And I kind of figured on what I can throw in this other pouch here, too. Just little uh, knick-knacky items. Some wipes for my glasses, sunglasses, throw those in. Pencil leads and erasers, because I use mechanical pencils all the time. And a couple little flash drives. Easy, simple, not too shabby. So this is when I would start to talk about the main compartment of the bag, but I honestly don't even think I'm gonna use this. This is purely available space laptop, jacket, notebooks, books, clothing, hats, gloves, food, you name it, I can put it in there. This thing is huge. And there is so many other pockets and spaces in this bag that I'm gonna show you. And I just found another one that I didn't even know existed. Pretty cool. So like a lot of things that I end up getting, I kind of make a lot of impromptu buys without doing a ton of homework. I mean, I do enough homework to know what I like and what I don't like, but I don't get all the details sometimes. This is just one of those cases where I kind of acted quicker than my research. And so as I was looking at this bag, I kind of was wondering what this tab was for. And lo and behold, when you open up this Velcro, which is kind of strong, Bam, this really sweet pocket here. Just wide open, big amount of hook and loop, able to add all kinds of pouches and organizers. And so for me, 
this is where I start to pull in some of my Velcro backed pouches and so this is one that I really like it just has some of these items that I use on a regular basis uh, you know flashlight lighters bottle opener little magnetic thing couple of little tools and actually a little um, this is a pocket recorder that I use to record some of my ideas and actually some of the audio that you hear in my videos and so this will fit perfect inside there let me get it put in and we'll take a quick look so I got that pouch set in there offset to one side and nice and deep and you can probably see that there's still a ton of hook and loop left to go. So, I mean, I barely got anything in this pocket. Um, and there's tons of room to go. I mean, I, you know, there's, there's a lot of space. So, uh, you know, I'll just leave it for now and figure out what's going to fit and what kind of other organization I can put in there. But I'll keep moving on and try to get the rest of my gear into this bag. Now, this next section of the bag seems to be one of the most useful in terms of segregating out some of my equipment and getting it nice and organized. So when you open this up, it's actually a pretty large pocket, uh, but it also has a number of other pockets here that allow you to really subdivide your equipment and get it spaced out and nice and organized. So I carry a power bank. This happens to be the one I have. It's reasonably cheap, but it does what I need it to. And that's the type of thing that fits in here perfect. I also carry spare batteries with me. And so to have the ability to quickly and easily pop my batteries into the bag is definitely a must. So just right off a of get-go, I'm happy with the size and shape of these pockets and these things fit in here pretty sweet. So I feel like I'm going kind of crazy here. Uh, you know, I've taken all the stuff out of my Dragon Egg at this point and pretty much transferred it over to this attache. And I'll tell you what, I mean, I've barely even filled this thing in. So it's actually more bag than I need. I wonder if one of the smaller sizes would have almost been better for what I'm trying to do. But at the same time, I mean, this is going to give me plenty of options and flexibility in the future. So, I mean, I've pretty much just added uh, another little small uh, pad of paper that I have scrap paper in to write down quick notes, a few pens, my little work sharp field sharpener because I generally have a blade on me and like to touch them up. And I just kind of took some of the cords and cables that I use, tossed them down in the bottom here as well as my spare battery for my flashlight. And so I still have a ton of room in this pocket where I'll probably just keep my flashlight or something and just throw it in there and it gives me a little bit of flexibility just to toss some items in there in a pinch. Now on this side of the bag, I decided I didn't need to add anything more. I'm still pretty much where I was at. But what I did do was in the middle of the bag, which I thought I was gonna leave completely open, I pretty much have my tool pouch. This has a lot of small tools that get me by. Um, you know, lots of little things that, um, you know, if I really need them in a pinch, it's just good to have them. So I added this tool bag in the middle um, and it's just a little bit larger than, than what could fit in any of the other portions of the bag. So here it is pretty well loaded up. I mean, it's not terribly large. It's a good size bag, don't get me wrong, but you know, I don't find this to be cumber cumbersome in any sort of way. Uh, you know, for me, it's all I need. I basically just need to carry this thing into work, whether I throw it over both shoulders or if I just carry it in over one shoulder, that seems to work perfectly fine. It has a lot of the things that I most regularly go to on the outside of the bag, which is nice. A good size tool kit for some of the things that I might need in a pinch. Backup money, um, you know, checkbook and, um, you know, my backup credit cards, which is cool. Nice place for my water bottles. I mean, this pretty much does what I need it to do. And like I said before, I'll pretty much just take this thing, bring it out to my truck, throw it in my truck, go into my office, throw it into my office, and I just need some stuff with me. So... Anyway, this is just a start. I'm sure I'm going to find additional things that I want to add to this, especially now that I have the space. I don't find it to be heavy. I mean, it's got a little bit of weight to it, sure, but nothing that's going to bother me. And I'm actually pretty psyched. I like it. I love my Expedition stuff. And so I think this is going to work out pretty great. So anyway, um, you know, I hope you guys like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you liked what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, Thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.